My name is Nathan McDonald. I'm a physicist and I work at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Um, and my area of uh, research is using ultrasound for therapy instead of imaging and using different imaging techniques to guide it. Um, the, different ap uh, the two main applications that I'm working on right now are using ultrasound to ablate tumors, so as a re replacement for surgery, and for using it for targeted drug delivery. Um, in particular, we're interested in, in doing this in the brain. Um, there, it's been shown feasible now with uh, these clinical systems that can target ultrasound through the intact skull and ablate targets in the brain. Um, but there's some limitations to that now, and we, we hope that we can expand that um, to areas deeper in the brain and more towards the, the surface of the brain. One of the issues related to using ultrasound in the brain for ablation is being able to target very deep structures. So a, a very good potential target for ultrasound in the brain, since it's a completely non-invasive technology, is to ablate uh, benign tumors or, or malignant tumors uh, near the skull base. Um, these are often very difficult to operate on and remove surgically. And with a non-invasive technique, we might be able to go there and really help these patients. Um, however, there's a, a lot of issues about going that deep with ultrasound. Um, when ultrasound hits the bone, it gets very hot. And so if we want to target things right at the skull base, it's going to be very challenging not to overheat the skull and damage you know, the brain and the nerves around it. And in particular, uh, we want to preserve these nerves that, that are, are uh, come in from the, the outside into the brain. Um, and my project has been to look at whether we can make lesions right next to the optic nerve and preserve the, the function of the optic nerve. Um, so the, the, the way that we're approaching this is, is to use a different type of ablation with ultrasound. You can use ultrasound in different ways. You can uh, uh, mechanically ablate tissue without any heat. And that could be potent potentially useful um, near the skull base where the heating is a problem. Uh, so we, we looked at some parameters that uh, some other people developed where we can use uh, microbubbles that are injected into the circulation. And this really focuses the energy to the microbubbles themselves in instead of the rest of the tissue. And by applying fairly low power pulses, we can uh, ablate tissue without any heat. Um, so the study that we did was to show that we could do that um, right on or adjacent to the optic nerve. Um, we did this in rats and uh, looked at electrophysiology measurements. And we found that if we could target right on the nerve or right next to the nerve, we can, we can do that successfully without uh, destroying the nerve function. We may be reducing the function, so we need to look at more sensitive tests. This new type of ablation that we're testing has a, is very early. There's not a lot of work on it out there, so we need to do a lot more work uh, to show that we can do this safely. Um, but it's very exciting, and it, it really could open up um, the, the ablation of, of targets in the brain to a much wider population than, than it's currently possible. And the, the foundation has really helped out getting this, these data that we need uh, to move this forward. They've actually completely enabled this work. Um, so that this project was completely funded by the, the foundation. Um, and they gave us the seed money that we have. And I hope that I can take these results and go forward and get a larger amount of funding to really help this uh, uh, move this to patients.